hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome today i'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to cook a very delicious juicy turkey during thanksgiving and christmas the turkey always takes most of the time and efforts to make but i'm gonna show you a very quick and easy way to make it in no time regardless of the size of your turkey it is gonna cook in no time so I'm going to start by removing the neck and that little bag that has the heart, liver and gizzard. Then I'm going to give it a pat down to remove any excess moisture. I'm going to start by cutting off the butt, that is the gnash of the turkey. Then I'm going to place it upside down and cut down the spine. Before you cut your turkey, don't forget to sharpen your knife and while you are cutting the turkey, be very careful. What I'm trying to do is to cut the turkey into two equal parts, then further cut it into four parts. I know a lot of people are very particular about the wishing bone. If that is you, then this method is not for you. Except you can safely remove the wishing bone. Now we have two equal parts. It is up to you. You can leave yours like this or cut it into four pieces. So I'm going to cut each into two, separating the breast from the thigh. If this is your first time on my channel or you are a returning viewer and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and on the notification bell so that you can get an alert whenever I post a video. Like and share the video. Thank you and God bless you. When I'm done cutting the turkey, I'm going to wash it. They are already washed, so I'm just going to remove the organs, the neck and the butts. You can use those parts, especially the neck and the butts to make turkey stock if you want. So it is time to season the turkey. I'm going to zest in one lemon and use the juice of the same lemon. When you want to season your turkey, you can use any spices of your choice. These are the ones that I'm going to be using. When I'm done zesting the lemon, I'm going to squeeze in the juice all over the turkey. Whenever I use lemon to season my turkey, it is always very delicious. That's why I love to use it always. This lemon has a lot of seeds, so I'm just going to remove them. They are not part of the flavor. Then I'm going to pour in half a cup of vegetable oil, a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of ground ginger, a tablespoon of curry powder, a tablespoon of crushed rosemary, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of rubbed sage, crush into seasoning cubes, half a tablespoon of black pepper. For heat, I'm also going to add two habanero peppers. So that's all I'm going to be using to season the turkey. I'm going to coat each piece with the spices. While I am doing this, let me use this opportunity to send a very special shout out to all those that have subscribed. You guys are the best. I love you. Thank you and God bless you. After everything is evenly coated, I'm going to cover it and let it marinate for at least three hours. This is going to give it enough time to soak up all the spices. This is three hours later. And during that time, I went in several times to rotate the pieces of the turkey so that each piece would have a chance to sit in the marinade to absorb more of the spices. Place them on a lined sheet. This is going to make your cleanup very easy. Turn on the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Place a foil over them. This is going to help them cook properly from the inside and reduces the chance of them browning quickly. One hour later, I'm going to bring them out and apply the marinade they were soaked in just like basting the turkey. This is going to moisten them and add more flavor. Don't worry about cross-contamination. 
because it is going to stay in the oven for another hour or more. This time, I'm going to put it back in the oven uncovered and let it cook for the remaining time. 30 minutes into it, I flipped them onto the other side. I lost that footage. This time, I'm going to flip them back and let them bake for the remaining 30 minutes. So in total, I cooked the turkey for 2 hours. So this is 2 hours later. I'm going to turn off the heat and leave it in the oven for another 30 minutes. So this is what they look like afterwards. I'm going to let them cool a bit before carving them. Because the turkey is cooked, it is very important to wash your hands thoroughly or wear gloves before cutting it. So when you are cutting the parts that have joints, just go to the joint and separate them. Look for the joints and cut through it. Whenever I make my turkey like this, I find it easier to carve. Unlike the whole turkey that is big, you don't know where to start from. So this one is very easy as you can see. Just start with one piece and before you know it, everything is well carved. That reminds me, I have another turkey video that I cooked whole and wrapped in baking. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. You can check it out later if you're interested. After cutting all the parts that have joints, it is time to cut the breast, which is sometimes challenging to some people. But if you try this method, it is going to be very easy for you to do because you can just peel off the bones. Once all the bones are removed, now you have the brush to cut it to whatever size you want. You can cut it smaller or bigger as long as you cut it diagonally. This is a perfect size for my family, but if you have a larger crowd, you can cut it into smaller pieces. So in all, this is a very easy and effective way to cook your turkey in no time which means you're going to have more time to cook other dishes and even time to rest. So I cooked this turkey for two hours. If I had cooked it whole, it would have taken a longer time to cook it and more effort. And so this is easy. But when you are cooking a larger turkey, it is going to take more time depending on the size. But then the time is always going to be lesser than cooking it whole. And the bonus part of it is that the carving is very easy. So now that you know how to cook your turkey in no time, why don't you give this method and recipe a try? I promise you, you're going to love it because it is very delicious and moist. So thank you guys for watching. Till I see you next time. Stay safe. Stay blessed. I love you. Bye.